Before we head out to Raventuli Coast and search for some rock ptarmigan, some caprichyle, and some wooded grouse, we got a bunch of gobblers out here. In fact, we have three of them right here. One there, one there, and one there. We're going to try and triple up on these gobblers, and then we're going to send Chase after them to see if he can find them. First shot is going to be 350 yards. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult. But I believe we can do it. Well, might have been a little bit too close to the edge there. <laughs> and, uh, yep, that didn't work out so well. Let's try that one more time. What do you say? And that's a hit. That is indeed a hit. And it's going to take him down. All right, he just flopped over right in that brush. Now we're gonna be able to take down another one. This one is a little bit closer, so we should be able to hold right on. Perfect shot. That'll take him down, and then we should be able to take down one more. Money. Oh, no, 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 we went high again, twice. Not going high that time, I'll tell you that. Perfect shot, he's going straight down. All right, so we just tripled up on gobblers out here. Now, our goal is to get him to retrieve every single turkey. From right about here will be 200 yards, and that's how far he can go. I think he can go like 180 to be honest, but we'll get a little bit closer, because that one out there is still 215. I think if we get to 180 from these ones, then let's see, 170, 180. Yeah, if we get to 180 from these ones, then he should be able to get both those and then we can move closer so we can grab the last one. So let's send him out there. Go get him, buddy. Fetch him up. All right, he's headed that direction. I just saw him and there he is right there. Take a look at that, no way. <laughs> look at him looking, look at him out there. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, so he got a little bit distracted because there are some other turkeys out there and it kind of confuses him with the scent and whatnot, but eventually he'll be able to figure out where they're at. He sees them right there. He's right on them. Come on, buddy. He's right there. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. We had this problem with him yesterday. He's got him right there. Look at that. All right. Yeah, yesterday we had a problem where we took down two gobblers and he brought back the one but the other one he did not get and i sent him over there at least six times and he didn't actually get it i had to pretty much walk right to it and then he ended up picking him up but look at this he's bringing him right to us beautifully good job buddy good job good job well he did bring us one so let's pick that up nice right lung shot at 280 yards and look at this. He's bringing them right to us. Atta boy. Good job, buddy. Look at that. Wow, that's so cool. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right, you get a cookie. There you go. Atta boy. Thanks for the help, buddy. All right, so he did pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. Shake. All right, now let's see if he can find the other one. He should bring it right to us. He's laying right there. But let's see what happens. Go get him, buddy. Go get him. Yeah, he's going for him. He's going straight for him. And he's got him. Atta boy. Good job. Look at the size of that turkey compared to that dog. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, let's pick him up. That's going to be a silver, a rare silver, 4.07. 290 yard shot there. And then this one is a 4.3 gold and a 325 yard shot there. Boy, that didn't take long at all. We already got eyes on a couple of Western Capricyle out here, about 150 yards out, right there. We're gonna go for a shot. Actually, they're roughly 210. 
smoked him. And right over him. Got him that time though. He's going down. Doubled up. There was also a bobcat out there as well. So if we could maybe grab the AR, that'd be pretty cool. Take him down. Got him. Oh, we could even take down some of these geese as well. They're out there about 250 yards. This flock is glitched out, but that back one is not. I'd say we could probably hit something out there. Let's go for it. You know what? Can't get them if you don't try. But let's actually go for it. Oh! We got one! Oh! No way! Wow. Alright. So he should be able to go fetch it. Fetch him up, buddy. He should be over there somewhere. He's going for him. He's going. Should be right over that little ledge. He's got him right there. It took him a few tries, but eventually he did find him. Uh, I think he dropped him? That's odd. What are you doing, buddy? Did you actually drop the goose? Well, either way, he's got him now. And he's coming in. Hey, thank you, buddy. Canadian goose, 214 yards. Out of boy. Oh, more geese. Big four out in the front. That's in range. That's only 115 yards. Got him. He's going down. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, another copper Kyle out there. Uh, we already took down a couple out there. We probably shouldn't exactly take this one just yet. Yeah, we'll let him be. We really need to get some uh, hazel grouse and some rock ptarmigan. All right, so he should be able to fetch this goose up pretty quick. Go get him, buddy. And he's got him. All right, there you go. Good job, buddy. Now that worked a lot better this time. A lot better. So this is going to be a huge four. It's going to be a 7.48. And we got him at 115 yards right in the wing. He did go down and Chase brought us our Capricow. 190 yard shot. All right, and he's already going after the other one. Good job, buddy. He's going straight for him. So that worked really good. It seems like the small birds he does really good with, but the big ones, he kind of struggles, as in the geese and the turkeys. He ran a long ways to get that, and he brought it right to us. Thank you, buddy. There we go. That is another Western Capricow, 200 yards. Both female, but technically you can't really use a 22 on them unless they're flying anyway. So I figured, well, I'd rather mess up a female than potentially a big, you know, gold male. So that's okay. All right, we just got a call from a hazel grouse right down over in there. I believe it's a female. So again, it's not really that big a deal if we take the shot with the 22 on the ground or not. But we do have to try and spot it. Oh, 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 right there it is. Although I don't really see it. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Right there. Right in that little opening. Tough spot for a shot. But well, we might be able to sneak one in there. We actually went over the top of it. I can't believe it. But we went over the top of that grass. No way we should have done that. Oh no, don't do that. But I do believe we finally did get him, luckily, before he took off. He's going right for him. And he's got him. Good job.
He went right to him and picked him up just like nothing. He didn't even have to look around or anything. But it definitely seems like the bigger ones, he struggles a little bit more. I'm not sure why that is, but... Thank you, buddy. Female rock ptarmigan, 136 yards. Makes sense why we were shooting a little bit high, because we're zeroed for 160 and we're holding for center. We're basically hitting right here. If it was like this and we were holding for center, we'd probably hit it in the back of the head, but... Anyways, we did get him. And thanks to the help of Chase. Yep, that's you. That's you, buddy. Thank you. There you go. Good dog. Ooh, look what we got right here, buddy. Look what we got right here. A nice hazel grouse, a nice male, 100 yards out from us. Now we have the 12 gauge, so we're gonna grab that right now. And all we gotta do is get a little bit closer, then we'll be able to flush him up. And when he flushes up, he's probably gonna fly right back into that woods, or at least along that tree line. And when he does, if we take the shot, he's gonna drop somewhere in those tall pines. So we're definitely gonna need the help of Chase. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh man, after all that, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Not just one, but both of them, both of them. They were right there, so close. He's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Oh my God, he's right there, he's right there. Come on, fly, 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 fly. What? We got him. I don't know how in the heck we just missed him freaking four times. But the last shot, we got him. All right, buddy, go help us out. Fetch him up, boy. Fetch him up. I saw him fall in there. I'm pretty sure we might have hit him twice, actually. I think the second or third shot definitely hit him. But he just didn't go down. Yeah, we got him. He's already got him. He's coming back. Take a look at this. Oh, man, that was perfect. What a heck of an amazing job you just did there, buddy. Thank you so much. Okay, we only did it at one time? 50 yards out, we hit him three times with one shot. And it looks like it was a pretty good shot. One in the wing, one right in the side there, and one in the intestine. It wasn't quite big enough to be a gold, unfortunately, but still a really cool brown male hazel grouse. Look at that. Incredible grouse. Honestly, one of my favorite things to hunt in real life as far as the bird species would definitely be the grouse because they're so fast and they blend in with their surroundings like no other. But when you have a dog, it is awesome because even if you get them and they go really far back in the woods, the dog will be able to help you find him. And another 180 plus there. But we're not after the whitetail this time, so you guys are lucky. I haven't seen this many bucks here in a long time. But that's actually a 200 plus right there, and I don't think we're gonna pass him up. No, we're not. He's about 315 out there. And he is smoked. All right, let's go get him, Chase. What do you say, buddy? Let's go get him. Watch this, we got our buck piled up right here, and I'm actually gonna send Chase after this buck, just to see if he does, in fact, go after it, it'd be kind of cool if he does. All right, buddy. Go get him. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. Let's see where he heads. He's going straight for him. Look at that. Look at him galloping. <laughs> I love it. He's going for him. He's going for him. Where is he? Where is he, buddy? He's going all the way over there. He's almost there. He's going straight for that buck. No way. Oh, how cool is that? He made it all the way there. Look at that. Ran right past him though. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Over here, buddy, over here. Come on, buddy. Get in the picture, you got him too. Yeah, you helped out too. There you go, buddy. I love his bark. All right, let's pick him up. Well, that is gonna be a 211 gold. Pulled off a nice 369 yard, perfect double lung shot there. Great little bonus. And he's a sweet looking buck as well. All right, so there's a hazel grouse right there. That's the female. 
But we know there should be a male. Oh, there's the male. I'd like to know if that's going to be gold potential or not. I'm not sure. Either way, I do think we're going to sneak up on him and try and take him down with the shotgun because that turned out to be pretty cool last time. So I'm pretty sure the last one that we got was like a 350 and we need to get 370 to be gold. That guy there has a minimum of 389, so he should be gold potential, which is perfect. And we're going to go prone because we're about to be right out in the wide open here. Come on, fly, 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 fly. We got right on top of him, dude. Are you not going to fly? What? Oh, come on. Got him. Double up. Woo. All right. Let's go. Yeah, he flew right into the brush. And we almost didn't get a shot off. But luckily, we were able to pull it off. And I actually held a little bit below where he was flying. And it worked perfectly. Oh, he's way over there. I forgot. Come on, buddy. So we got to get him to stop right here first. Because otherwise, he's not going to go far enough. And now, we can get him to fetch. Go get him, buddy. Fetch him up. Yep, he's piled up right there. This is our big gold potential Hazel Grouse coming right to us. And chases first Hazel Grouse. It's going to be a gold. It's actually a sweet looking Hazel Grouse as well. It's a dark 393.33, 24 yard shot. Take a look at this incredible thing. Wow. That is one special looking grouse. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, you did a really good job there, Chase. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. We've been waiting a long time to try and get him. Hey, he already brought the other one over to us too. <laughs> he already brought him over to us. We didn't even get a chance to see him go and fetch him. He already did it automatically. Thank you for the help, buddy. And that was a 39 yard intestine shot on a brown hazel grouse female. So very, very nice. boy! thank you so much for the help. And you get a cookie. There you go, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that was a perfect scenario there where the grouse flew right into that thick tree there uh, with all these um, branches around it and pretty much piled up right down there. So we weren't able to really see him go down, but Chase was right on him almost instantly. Oh, that's what we want, that's what we want right there. We're gonna call from a Capra Kyle as well and we gotta get this mountain here real quick. Where'd he go? What the heck? Could have had our first mountain here. He's right there. Got him! <laughs> it was like point blank range, but... Oh, what do we got calling over there? Capricile. I see him too. Anyways, we got our first mountain hair down and it's going to be a gold. Look at that. 4.65 gold. Got him at 11 yards away. Oh, right there. Rocked arm again. Oh my God, they're right there. Oh, look at them all. There's five of them. They, oh, there's a nice male, a nice male. Oh my God. We definitely want to get that. That's them. All right. Where are they going to go? Oh, he landed. Right there. Let's see if they hang out over there. Oh, don't run, don't run. Okay. They slowed down. Whoa, hello. Ooh. Rig and drilled that buck. Got him a little far forward, but that should have been long. So I'm not exactly sure where our male went, but I know our female is right over here. And if she's here, then he's got to be right next to her somewhere. 
Unfortunately, we can't get up any higher to be able to see. So we just have to trust in our instincts that he's over there. Which is right there. They're headed this way. Alright, let's get ready. They might flush up. Yeah, that's him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, that's not him. That's not him. But that should be. And that should be too. Or one of them is. I don't even know. <laughs> we just tripled up. Okay. There's another one over here that just landed. So we got to make sure that that might not be. Well. One of these has to be him. Please tell me that's not him. Okay, good. That's a female. All right. We just got four rock ptarmigan right down here. And we're going to need Chase's help to help find some. First, I want to go over here and check to make sure that there isn't any more males over here that took off. Okay. Looks like that's the only one that's left. And that happens to be a female. So that means one of these should be our nice male. All right, buddy. Fetch him up. Fetch him up, boy. And he's bringing one to us here. That's going to be a molted female. 35 yard shot. Nice lung shot, actually. Beautiful looking rock ptarmigan. These things are incredible as well. All right. He should be bringing another one. Now that might be our male. It's another female, 37 yards, and another molting. This thing's actually really cool because it's kind of like white colored. That is awesome. Still not our male, but it's still super, super cool. Now is this going to be our male? It is, and it's going to be a gold, a 700 gold, 1.55 pounds. Actually got a liver shot at 39 yards mid-flight. So a pretty incredible turnout to get this huge rock ptarmigan. And he's a molted as well. That is also one heck of an amazing retrieval job by Chase. Good job, buddy. Amazing, amazing job. And look at this bird. How cool is that? We might even mount this thing, to be honest. That is something else. Wow. All right, yeah, you know what? We're gonna get this thing mounted. 700.9, he was huge. He was only nine points off from being a diamond. Wow. Yeah, we're getting him mounted. That's our biggest rock ptarmigan of all time. We broke the 700 mark. Uh, Yeah, he's going way down over there. What? We did get another one. He literally just came over here and brought it to us. He ran a long ways too because all of a sudden I looked and he was way down there, 150 yards. Next thing I know, I look down and there's another rock ptarmigan right here. It's another gold male. Where the heck did this thing come from? Another one. The, whoa, that's a female. That's a female, a gold female. What? That's our first gold female rock ptarmigan ever. I didn't even know they could make gold. Wow. I was going to say, I didn't think there was a male in there. Well, that's going to be it for this video. That's going to be it right there. Unbelievable finish. Such incredible looking birds. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Wow. Unbelievable. And we couldn't have found him without the help of Chase.